the kitchen with me as I prepare a very healthier version to the traditional fried fish cake. We're going to bake it today. So step in the kitchen. Let's get cracking with this fish cake. As you notice, I didn't add a measurement because you can basically add the amount you prefer. With herbs, it all depends on your palate. So you add to suit your palate. So let's get into it. The fish that I am using, we Trinidadians will call this a bonito. So uh, it's a very tough fish. So I filleted this fish and cut it into pieces. I'm going to add some seasoning and add all of it to my food processor and mince everything together. So the herbs I'm using are as follows. Side, celery, thyme, bandana, hot pepper, and pimento. I'm squeezing half of a lemon and I am going to process the fish first, mince properly. Then I am going to add, after washing and cleaning the herbs, going to add it to the fruit processor and bring everything to a bowl. So I'm just showing you what the fish looks like once it's minced. Now we're going to mince it some more. Let's continue after. Click the bell for new. Now I'm going to add all of the herbs and we're going to mince everything together so therefore the fish will get an extra amount of mincing so to speak so we show that our fish is properly well minced and everything has been incorporated evenly into the fish all of that seasoning and I am adding here crackers that I use to make some oven fried chicken I mince those crackers also in my fruit processor. So after adding everything and bringing it to a boil, I'm greasing my surface lightly and I'm going to place my fish and flatten it to the thickness that I would like. Before we continue... flattening to my desired thickness I am going to use a cookie, cookie cutter and this is what it looks like and I am going to cut until I have used up all of my fish and to my preheated oven I am going to place this for 20 to 30 minutes I bake this low and slow I bake this at 275 degrees So this is what it looks like when it's done. It has a nice crunch and it is properly well seasoned. I add a light amount of salt in the mincing of all of the ingredients. I don't think I mentioned that. Please forgive me. And this is what it looks like. So healthy and fresh. Give it a try. And as you notice, it's also dairy free. So this is an all wrong, very healthy fish cake. Okay. 